So in terms of Nintendo's next-gen system or the Nintendo Switch 2, which has been rumored to come out at some point next year, there hasn't been really any leaks or news or anything coming out about it as of late. However, we do have something very interesting with an interview that's actually official right from Nintendo's global president, Mr. Shuntaro Furukawa. And while talking about new tech and the potential of the next-gen Nintendo system, I do find it to be a pretty interesting topic. And of course, a lot of you guys are interested in stuff like this as well, so I figured I'd talk about it and give you guys my thoughts. Now real quick before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that I'm having a special giveaway where I'm giving away $55 in Nintendo eShop gift cards as a thank you for helping me reach over 55,000 subscribers. So if you want to have a chance to win that, all you got to do is click the link below in the description or the pinned comment and you can have a chance to win. It is open worldwide so anybody can enter, but it does end at the start of September so you don't have a lot of time. So definitely be sure to enter for a chance to win. Alright, so the information that we have here is from this article on Nintendo Everything, and it says right here, Nintendo boss on the company's approach to new tech. And so yeah, if we take a look down here, it says Nintendo president Shuntaro Furukawa has weighed in on how the company approaches new technology. In an interview with NHK translated by Nintendo Everything, Furukawa indicated rather than pursuing tech for the sake of it, it's instead about how they can lead to revolutions in the act of play itself. Also mentioned is that Nintendo is pursuing new technology in general, but isn't focusing on one specific area. And so here is his official quote right here, where it says right here, While there is no particular technology we are focusing on at the moment, we are conducting research on a variety of new technologies. However, I believe that the most important thing for our company is not seeking new technologies for novelty's sake, but rather considering how they can lead to revolutions in the act of play itself. The idea is that if we become convinced that incorporating a certain technology can provide customers with a fresh and surprising experience, then we covet its research more strongly, making investments when necessary as well. So yeah, this is definitely a topic that I've seen a lot of people talking about because he's talking about here how Nintendo is always researching about new tech and stuff that they could be using, but they don't really decide to add stuff just for the sake of novelty or just having like a cool feature that a lot of other people are doing, but really only if they can provide like a revolutionary kind of fresh new and surprising experience. And I think that's definitely kind of true with how we've seen Nintendo systems in the past. Like you can argue if some are done better than others, and I think that's definitely a discussion that you can have but they definitely do try to do interesting things for the way that you play the games like of course with the Wii they had motion controls for the first time and it was definitely a fresh and surprising experience to play a game like Wii Sports and just swing your Wii remote and you would be able to hit a baseball bat and it would be so cool but like with other things that they do, like I remember with the 3DS, they had stereoscopic 3D that you could have with the, without the 3D glasses. And I mean, that I would say that like it was cool at the start, but it wasn't something that I was personally actively using a ton. And honestly, by the time that like a lot of the later 3DS games came out, they weren't even really made with the whole 3D like stereoscopic uh, 3D like stuff even included. It was just like a standard game that you would play on your 3DS. So it is interesting to think about this in terms of like what could be possible about the next Nintendo system as everybody is talking about how the next generation Nintendo system is most likely just around the corner and it is probably going to be coming out at some point next year. So what are some new technologies and things that Nintendo could be using? And that's definitely an interesting topic because I know some people are talking about the whole VR stuff and I mean we actually saw VR with the Nintendo Switch, which was so surprising too. Obviously, it wasn't like some crazy VR because it was like with Labo and all of that, and it was just some kind of goofy cardboard stuff, but they still decided to do that because it offered an interesting type of way to play games, and it was definitely something pretty interesting. So I do wonder what exactly they could be looking into with new technologies for the next Nintendo system. And honestly, I find this stuff very interesting because it's very easy to see that Mr. Furukawa is a different type of Nintendo president compared to ones that we've had in the past, especially like Mr. Iwata. Iwata definitely talked about how he was a gamer at heart, and we have like that famous quote with him talking about his business card too, but it was definitely very easy to see that Iwata was extremely passionate about games to the point where he was literally a developer, like he was developing games and helping with games, and then he became the president of Nintendo. So it was really interesting to see how how invested Iwata was when making games and talking about them in the ways that the systems were also created with Nintendo. 
And it's very easy to see that Mr. Furukawa seems to be much more on like the business side of things where he seems to be very kind of calculated in how Nintendo handles their business practices and their strategies and stuff that they're doing. I don't know how much of a gamer Mr. Furukawa is. That's another thing is that he never really talks in interviews or anything like in terms of actual interviews where we see him in person. Like he has these types of interviews that he has with like other like, you know, media journalists and they have like written interviews, but I rarely ever see him actually appear on camera talking with people and stuff. Whereas you saw Iwata in every Nintendo Direct, he would be appearing as much as possible and everybody knew him even though he was like the face of Nintendo Japan, you pretty much knew him anywhere around the world if you were a Nintendo fan. So it is going to be interesting to see how Furukawa kind of goes about this too with the next Nintendo system as it is going to be completely on his own and I guess maybe Mr. Kimishima is also going to be helping him too because he was the one who kind of started the launch of the Nintendo Switch. He was the guy that you saw with the whole Nintendo Switch presentation but Iwata was still kind of at the root of the Nintendo Switch 2 when it was still being made like it was still when it was still in its very early plans in 2015 and it probably started like plans in the planning stage even earlier Iwata was still very much involved in it so the next Nintendo system that comes out is really going to be like a full-on new Nintendo system that is going to be completely without Iwata and it's going to be kind of really insane to see what they decide to do with it. And so it will be really interesting to see what types of technologies Nintendo is going to be using in their next system. Personally, the one that I'm really hoping to see is the one that's been heavily rumored, and it's that the next Nintendo system is going to be using some type of NVIDIA DLSS upscaling, which is going to be taking existing games that you have on this new Nintendo system and then upscaling them to look sharper and clearer in 4K so that you can technically be playing them in kind of upscaled 4K on a 4K TV. And I definitely feel like it's a needed feature because 4K TVs are starting to be become more popular, there's definitely more of them starting to appear in people's homes, and I feel like now if you're going to release a brand new system in 2024 and it's still going to be in 1080p at the highest, it just really wouldn't be the right thing to do, and especially like with this being upscaled 4K, it's not actually running native 4K like the PS5 or anything, which is definitely fine because obviously a small tablet-like system like the Switch isn't going to be able to put that type of power inside of it, but having upscaled 4K I think is definitely something that they should do, so I really do hope that the next Nintendo system is going to be pursuing something with 4K. But yeah, those are pretty much all of the Nintendo president's comments about new technologies and what we could potentially see maybe with the next Nintendo system. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely be sure to click that like button and also subscribe to the channel as well as I'm going to be talking more about Nintendo's next system as we get more information. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think about all of this as well. Are there any new technologies that you would love to see on the next Nintendo system? What about 4K and all of that? How do you guys feel? Definitely be sure to comment down below. Go follow me on Twitter at actual arrows so you can be featured in videos and also join my Discord server as well. We've got a bunch of people in there. We're always talking about Pokemon and Smash Bros and Nintendo. So definitely be sure to join that. And remember to enter my giveaway as well. I am giving away $55 in Nintendo eShop gift cards. So definitely be sure to click the link below in the description or the pinned comment for a chance to win. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching.